Hi guys, it's Anne and Britaness. Today's video is going to be about an eyeshadow look which is inspired by the movie Cinderella. Yes, I I effort with my blue dress. <laughs> If you want to know how this look, keep watching. Start with, I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Painterly Paint Pot for my eyeshadow primer. And for the transition color, I'm using the Naked 3's Limit in combination with the Nooner right on top of the crease area. And I'm blending it using the opposite side of the brush. Now I'm applying the shade Buzz on the inner and outer corner of the eyelid, bringing it all the way over the crease area. Here I'm applying a dark pink shade from my Morphe Single Eyeshadows, both for the inner and the outer lid. And now I'm applying a darker pink, which is almost burgundy, and blending the harsh lines using my Sonia Kashuk. Right pencil. on the center of the lid, I'm applying the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk to accentuate or pop the color in the middle area. First, I'm applying the Light Silver number 447 from my Inglet Eyeshadow. Okay, here comes the Light Blue. This is number 429 from Inglet, and this is my favorite Light Blue. I'm telling you, this is very nice. Okay, I'm blending it with my Morphe Tapered Blending Blush. And since Cinderella's gown has a silver accent to it, I'm applying this Inglet AMC Eyeshadow number 23. Look how this color really pops up. And here, I'm applying again the dark pink from the Morphe Single Shadow Inner and the Outer Corner. Here, I'm applying the dark blue from my Single Shadow of Morphe. And for the definer, I'm using the Naked 3's Black Heart just very lightly because I don't want it to be so strong. And I was not able to include filming here for the brow bone. I used the Strange from Naked Tree Palette. For tight lining, I'm using my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Perversion. Also applying it in the lower lid, blending it with my Morphe. For flat angle brush for the inner corner of the lower lid, I'm applying the Italia Rose Rosa shade. And in the middle, I'm applying this Cherry Moya Baby Blue color. And on top, I'm applying this NYX. 937 Silver Glitter Eye Pencil. On top, I'm applying this Inglot AMC 23 Single Shadow. Here, I'm using my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. And for curling my lashes, I'm using this Lancome Eyelash Curler. For the mascara, I'm using this Too Faced Better Than Six Mascara. I've already applied a light layer of the Bubu Cover Up Concealer, but now I'm applying this MAC Pro Longwear and W20 on top. Since I'm not able to find a beauty blender, I'm using the Real Technique sponge and then I realized I forgot to put my foundation. Here I'm using my Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. This is not super full coverage though. On the left side, I'm using the Real Technique sponge and on the right side, I'm going to be using this Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki brush. For those people who are asking me, which do I prefer, the brush or the sponge? When I'm in a hurry, I really prefer using my brushes, but which is flawless application, which is more flawless. I'd say it's almost the same actually. Sponge is more, but because I can always wash my sponge, that's why I prefer my sponge. And I'm setting my concealer with this Anastasia Banana Powder, but then I realized I wanted to use the Beige Cosmetics Powder because this one has lighter shade. Setting the foundation with my Chanel Double Perfection Lumiere. And for the contouring, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit together with my Sigma Precision Angle P84. Bring it to the bridge of my nose, hollows of my cheek, the temples, the jawline. And of course, blending it with my Pro Muse Blending Brush with the nose area for the cheekbones. I'm using this BH Cosmetics brush. And for the blush on, I'm using my NARS Orgasm. For the highlighter, I'm using this Stila highlighter. I think this is Kitten. Also putting highlight on the nose and the Cupid's ball. And for the inner dark area, I'm using this. This is from Lancome. For the mascara, I'm using this Blink waterproof mascara. I always prefer the waterproof mascaras for the lower lashes. And here is the falsies. You just gotta have to wait 20 to 30 seconds so that it's gonna be easier. I think I'm using the Beige Cosmetics uh, false lashes in here. And for the makeup to stay all day long, I'm using this MAC Fix Plus Setting Spray. My lipstick, I'm using this Nude Lipstick from Tom Ford. This is Spanish Pink 01. For the lip gloss, I'm using this NYX Creme Brulee Lip Gloss. And ta-da! This is the finished look. This eyeshadow look is inspired by Cinderella's gown, which is colored blue. Combination with purple and pink and silver. 
from the movie Cinderella 2015. Here's how it looks like. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want, give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so. And always choose to do good whenever you can. It's always for the better. Bye. Have a good one. God bless you.